Hello and welcome back for another video from Forward Aviation. We will be focusing once again on our Microsoft Flight Simulator X tutorial mini-series. Today we will be explaining how to create a flight plan using Direct GPS or VOR and then how to load it inside the game. First, begin by loading FSX. Next, select the way you will be flying in Free Flight or Multiplayer. Continue to select the tab reading Flight Planner, which is located below the aircraft location, weather, time, and season options. When you select Flight Planner, a menu will open with two tabs. Begin on the tab reading Create. Select both your departure and arrival airports. and then your flight plan type, either VFR or IFR. In this instance, it doesn't matter whether or not you select VFR or IFR. This will matter greatly in real flying. In our instance, we are going to select IFR as the aircraft we will be flying uses instruments for the majority of flight. Next, you can select which form of flight plan you want. Here at Forward Aviation, we tend to stick to direct GPS or VOR to VOR. However, you can use the other two options. First, we will use direct GPS. After selecting this option, select Generate Flight Plan. When you enter this page, you will see the option to type in your cruising altitude. This is an approximation. In this box, type the highest altitude you will be flying at during the flight. This may be different depending on your realism settings. After this, you can edit your waypoint in flight plans by moving the red flight path line with your cursor. To get a better look, you can use the zoom option and then use the arrows on the screen to move around. To set up a direct approach to a runway you'll be landing on, you can sometimes center the red line in the approach path of the designated runway. To use VOR to VOR, select the option on the first page of the flight planner menu. When doing this, you get a more realistic flight plan that uses regulated ICAO waypoints. When done with either of these processes, select OK and save the flight plan to your computer. This is now the inserted plan for your flight. To load your route once in flight, use the default command Shift 3 to load the menu. You can use the plus or minus buttons to zoom in or out and use the ETA to show you how much time you have until your next waypoint. We hope you enjoy today's FSX lesson. We challenge you to set up your own flight plan to increase your skills as a simulator pilot. Best of luck to you when you're flying.